Hey everyone, just a really quick intro so you know the theme of the video before I get going. I'm going to be talking about two brands, uh, Valentino and also Prada. The first half of this video I want to talk more about Valentino bags. They have come out with a new range just recently which are, are pretty much rip-offs of the Hermes uh, Constance and also the Kelly bag and I'm going to be talking about those, what we think of them, whether whether they're worth buying. I'm also then going to move on to Prada towards the end because there are two quite new bags out from them. One you've seen before, but I want to compare it to a newer one. Both well under a thousand pounds, so good to consider. Finally, this video, I'm just going to dedicate this to Le Blue Jeans on Instagram, who has requested this specifically. You wanted to know more about the Valentino bags, so I hope you enjoy watching. A couple of weeks ago, was it a week ago, maybe a week and a half, do you remember I spoke about the new range of Valentino bags that are out? You know the ones which look suspiciously like the Hermes Kelly and Constance? I did say I wanted to try one. I have purchased one that I'm going to show you and it's just arrived so I, I don't know what the details of it are but we're going to try it on. The reason why I'm doing this is because, excuse me, you might have actually seen this because today I am, it's the weekend and I'm block filming loads of videos so some of this you may have seen, I don't know in what order things are going to go up and one of these bags, I'm going to try things on with different clothes but the reason for this as well is that Beck, Louisa Via Roma have been running some major, major discounts re recently. And this one, which I really like, this was 40% off. For that reason, I've actually said this in the last couple of videos, but for the di at the new price that this is, which is like 700 and something pounds, I think, I think that makes this bag really worth it. So, but I'm going to compare this and talk about the rock stud collection of Valentino, along with the newer Hermes <laughs> version. This comes in two colours, and I think both have got the 40% off. It comes in a really pale pink, which I think is called uh, Rose Quartz. I was looking at that and I really did think about that but the reason why I went for the black version in the end is that I feel that this is a better all-rounder and also I have got one let me show you this is what I want to compare it to one pink rock stud already now the kind of angle that I want to go at here is to compare the rock stud Valentino bag to the newer version that's come out from the point of view of longevity because you know with this some of these brands they bring out something new and then you go and buy it and then it's already dated and they're not making it anymore and they're onto something newer and I get a lot of you whom I feel when I say that you get me confused with I don't want to wear it because I care what other people think I don't this is to do with the fashion industry in many cases moving so fast that you can buy something that looks great one minute, but a couple of months or a year later, it's really hard to style and it just looks very dated, not in a cool way. It's got nothing to do with what anyone thinks when you're wearing it, it's just to do with that. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example. A good example is the Louis Vuitton Multicolor. I've got one of those bags and it's kind of having a bit of a resurgence, but that bag feels very 2000s and it can be, I feel, quite hard to work in with a more modern look. So that's really what I'm talking about. The Rock Stud, here's why I think the Rock Stud is a worthy bag to get. First of all, the Rock Stud design has been around for a long time. Now if I, sorry, I've got everything on the floor. If I show you this, which is the first Valentino bag, that I ever purchased. This was also from Louisa Via Roma, and I remember purchasing this back in 2018. This was also in the sale. Another great thing with Valentino, it's one of those brands which is excellent quality. It's from a, a, a label and a brand you've heard of, but you can also, most of the time, you can 
on occasion, not all the time, you can get it for a, for a discount, either in the seasonal sales or more often than not, what I notice is that on places like Louisa Vieroma or on Farfetch, normally if there's a coupon code going around, you can get some money off. What's quite nice about this particular version is the hardware on it is champagne gold, not yellow gold. It comes with the regular top handle, which actually is detachable. You can remove this altogether if you don't like this and you can just wear the chain handle, that's it. Or you can wear it through your wrist. The chain handle on these, I normally find the chain handles quite long. This one has actually got a piece of leather across the top of it and it allows you to wear it over one shoulder but also cross body. The other benefit to this bag is if you don't like the, the handle that comes with it, or it's too long for you, or you want something shorter, because it's not fixed to the bag, and you've got these loops either side, you can go and buy yourself another chain of your own desire, attach that on, and then kind of, do you know what I mean? Let's move on to the, pr the proper thing that I wanted to talk about, and it's still got all of the wrapper on it. This is the newest bag from Valentino. And I, as soon as I saw it on the website, I really wanted to try it. So this, this is in the white leather. You can get different colors. There was a really nice sort of gray blue, but it's out of stock until October. It's kind of um, exactly like the Constance bag. Let's have a look inside it because I haven't really checked this yet. Oh, so it opens by pushing that down quite cool on the inside what's going on the inside is just one open section with a uh, like a little pocket on the side there it comes with all your regular cards care instructions i like the look of this so far the leather feels like good quality the leather on this bag if you already have the rock any of the rock stud bags the leather on this it feels really different it doesn't feel fragile it not even though that that leather doesn't scuff in my opinion. This feels uh, more like, if you're familiar with the leather that's on the Dior 30 Montaigne's, it kind of feels more robust. It doesn't feel as soft. It doesn't have the, the soft squidgy texture as the leather that comes on the Rockstar versions, which I think is probably gonna be better when it comes to wear and tear. I don't know, we'll soon find out. I just wanted to kind of drill deeper down into this. So this new bag, do I think it's worth getting? And do I think that it's worth getting over the Hermes Constance bag? Well, I kind of, actually, you might be surprised to hear, but I've kind of got two different opinions on it. Normally I would go, oh no, you know, go straight for, for Hermes. Like if you look at this, I don't really know what Valentino are doing at the moment, but it seems like quite a lot of the stuff they're doing is Hermes inspired. Even this belt, the way that it's uh, double usage, so it's cream on one side and like a chocolatey brown on the other, exactly like the Hermes belt. So what do I think? I had an interesting comment from one of you a couple of weeks ago where you said that you know that they are essentially knockoffs of the Hermes bags but that you didn't mind because they're a lot cheaper, the classic style is still there, and there are no games to play in terms of getting your hands on one. And when I read your, your opinion on that, I really could see where you were coming from. I've got to say, I really like this bag more than I thought I was going to. The quality of it's really good, and I do love that, that shape of bag. I have personally never tried to buy an Hermes bag, so I don't know truly how difficult or not it is, but um, I do really like this. Moving on to Prada. These are the two that I wanna talk about, and they are both from, you know, the Prada nylon range. One of these bags that I said I'm actually giving away, so I'll put details of that video below. The first is this, which is an absolute brilliant bag really good quality this is like 200 and 200 and something pounds and when i showed this months ago because it was again it had a discount applied to it i showed this month months ago and i had loads of you who 
went and checked it out and it sold out within like no time at all and it's come back in stock again for anyone who if you're new to designer bags and you want to buy your first bag but you don't have hundreds or even thousands to spend or if you already have a collection but you want something not too expensive very lightweight because this is nylon it's really light and you want something just casual that you can go out with not worry about too much you know like with some of these bags particularly the chanel's you know they're thousands and you go out and you're like oh, i don't want to scuff it up and get dye transfer and it's just nice to have bags you can go to that are less of a liability and this is one of those bags that it doesn't have a crossbody handle the handle on it is a wrist strap or you can just carry it by this and on the version that I bought months ago I didn't think that I, I I thought I would like it but I wanted to try it first but actually there's something quite cool about the bag when you're holding it by the, the wrist strap it kind of looks like you don't care too much the second is also well priced and I feel like this possibly if I had to have the two if I was going to go for one of the two I like the other one for price and versatility, but I like this one for how it looks because this has got that real 90s look to it. And what I do like about these nylon bags from Prada is they're not thousands. So even if the trend dies, it hasn't cost you a fortune. But not only that, I mean, we've already proven the point that these were in in the 90s and they've come all the way back round again. But look at this, so the way that this differs slightly to the regular ni uh, Prada nylon is that this one has got a pocket on the front. So the regular version doesn't have that pocket and I think it's got like the triangle logo on it. This one is a bit different. The shoulder strap is woven, what is that? It looks like bra braiding that's been woven together. I just really like this. I really like this and I like the size of it as well. There's something about it, like when you've just got it like that, it just feels really, I don't know it's really nice so the verdict which is the best bag to go for depends on your price on your budget if you if you have a lower budget let's say your budget is around about seven to eight hundred pounds Currently, right now, if it was between these two, I would say get this one because as well if you're okay with leather, this is full leather. And I think the style of it, go with a bucket bag every time because if you compare this to the bucket bag, this is a very particular shape. I don't really think it's gonna date massively, but it does have 90s kind of feeling to it. Whereas a bucket bag, they've been around forever this shape my mum has actually got a really old vintage louis vuitton bucket bag from like the 80s or 90s or something and it just it it's worn loads but actually that's added to, to the niceness of it it's just the kind of thing that over the last few decades she's always been able to wear and there's been nothing about it that's been too stylized whereas she did have a louis vuitton bag a while ago i can't remember the name of it and it had two pockets on the front and it was very it was very of the year when she bought it and she didn't want to use it because she didn't want to ruin it and then she left it too long and she was like i feel that it looks really out of date and it kind of at that point i would agree it kind of did and she ended up selling it whereas with a bucket bag they're just they're easy to use and the shape's quite classic so i think based on the current discounted price i'm gonna say this but if you aren't so on board with leather, this does have leather on it though, I will say. But if you're not so on board with leather, then I think the both of the Prada nylon bags are good. I think out of the two Prada bags, I prefer the look of this. I prefer this one. You've got more versatility because you can actually wear it on your shoulder as opposed to just holding it by the, the wrist strap. But when it comes to price, on the lower end of the scale, I think the bucket bag version of this wins every time.